So we're going to learn the, the first bar of line one because that bar gets repeated the most. There's a bass drum and crash cymbal on beat one. And then we don't come in again till beat two of the bar with the floor tom and bass drum together, two. Followed by a flam on the and of two and the snare drum straight after it. So we get one, two, and. Dave's right hand name goes back to the floor tom to play, excuse me, with the bass drum, three, and. And then, so that was bass drum and, and floor tom there, three, and. And then floor tom and high tom together on four. So it's like Dave's playing a back beat uh, on the high tom instead of the snare drum on beat four. Three and four, followed by a bass drum on its own on the and of four, and then I like to do it, and so does Dave, a double crash on beat one again. Um, so slowly the bar sounds like this, looped around a few times. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Let's do it even slower. Three, and four, and one, and two, and four. Bit faster now. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. And a bit faster. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And up to speed. Uh, the whole of verse two is exactly the same as the whole of verse one. Because it is. How wonderfully simple. Thank you, Dave. Let's go to the last bar, bar four, and we get a um, cool little drum fill. I love this kind of idea. I love this kind of style of, of linear drum filling between the snare drum and the bass drum. Pretty cool. Now, oh, that's, how, that's how he plays it on the recording, but when he plays it live, and this is how I would play it as well, naturally, instinctively, as a drummer, you just want to put something in here, I would put a bass drum on the and of three, like Dave does when he plays it live. So you also hear it play it this way. Um, there's an extra bass drum on the and of three, where I said there was a gap before between the flam on three and four. Put an extra bass drum in there and it kind of flows a bit better. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. When you loop the bar like that, you find out that there's bass drum on the and every, for every beat. Um, David's usually very, very good at, at um, writing a drum part and keeping it the same through section to section that sounds the same. I mean, if there's something melodically or vocally going on that uh, changes, then Dave will usually change his drum parts to suit it. But there's nothing changing vocally or melodically in this chorus, but he's changed the bass drum pattern again. 